To write the name for MnOH2, the first thing we need to recognize is that Mn, this is a transition metal, and then OH, when it's bonded to a metal, like manganese, this is called the hydroxide ion. It's a polyatomic ion. It's a group of nonmetals. We have two hydroxide ions. So because we have the metal, this group of nonmetals here, we use these rules here to write the name for MnOH2. First, we write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. Mn, that's manganese. Next, we write the name for the polyatomic ion. That's this OH here. This is called the hydroxide ion. You either memorize this, or if you're allowed, you look it up. This is very common in chemistry, so this is a good one to memorize. We have lowercase h, and so far, we have the name manganese hydroxide for MnOH2. But manganese is a transition metal, so we have to think about the charges on the ions when we write the name. We know that the hydroxide, the whole thing, is 1 minus, and we have two of them. So 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. The manganese has to be 2 plus. So manganese is a transition metal. We need to write Roman numeral 2 between the names here with parentheses. So the name for MnOH2 is manganese 2 hydroxide. And this 2, the Roman numeral, that's because we have the 2 plus on the manganese. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.